My guys, a bit of a Spark FTC <clears throat> wireless receiver fan. So the bug standard wireless receiver that I've been using. Um, and I've got the Spark Gap set really, really low. In fact, as low as it will go. Um, and I've painted the tips of the um, Spark Gap with the uh, conductive ink, uh, which allows me to set the gap really fine. Um, I find when the metal degrades a bit, uh, the spark gap, you can't set it quite so fine. Um, a flyback driver, a 20 volt, <clears throat> 3.25 amp all worked. And, oh, there's a little motor that came out of uh, this old VHS chassis. I knew I'd find one somewhere. Um, and, yeah, and if I switch it on somewhere, <laughs> without zapping myself... As soon as this thing starts breaking out, I lose power on it, but... There you go. I don't know if we can move this around a bit. Oh, even me moving around is affecting it. Put my hand near it. No. <laughs> okay. It changes with the gap. So the gap kind of tunes it in. There we go. So if I adjust the gap, bigger. Oh, it's slowing. There we go, let's just slow down to a stop if you can hear me. Oh, not quite a stop. That is set so fine, but yeah, I can hear the um, the RPMs increase. Sorry for the quietness. Let's turn this off. Yeah, so when I get that gap set really, really fine, I keep losing focus. Um, the uh, thanks, Dom. The uh, <laughs> the motor speeds up or slows down depending on how I've got the gap set. That's my toast. I love her. I love her to death. Um, <laughs> okay guys, take care. I'll see you soon. Cheers. See ya.